18 and three quarters. So that's our last measurement. For the two by sixes. Yep. We're calling this one Buns Chris Solve okay. Jack and Ethan. You are now a part of the van, whether you like it or not. <laughs> and then this one can be trailer van. All right, so we are about to start doing two and a half inch strips. We don't have a table saw, so what's this called, Pop? It's called a circular saw. Or a circular saw. It takes a little more time, but we'll get it done. We are going to be doing 55 inch cuts. You can see them right here. And they're gonna be going on the roof, ceiling. And they're gonna be 55 inches. And then we'll wrap it up tonight. Find that mark a little bit, because the width of the pencil. Right there, take this. Up here. So we have our 55 inch studs that are gonna go up the top. We got six of them cut, but what we're thinking is that we're actually gonna use the three quarter inch plywood beams. We're about to cut our two and a half inch strips for that. We are at the end of the night and we'll hop back on it tomorrow. Peace out. All right, so we have five beams in the top. We did our heavy duty Gorilla Glue. So for our last beam, we're gonna use our impact driver to fit in here. We marked out where we're gonna put our screws. But one thing to note, there is a wire. I might have tucked it away. Just to make sure your screws do tap in, make sure you elect spots like that where there isn't any hole in the bottom. So we run into a little bit of an issue here. We thought that it would be easier for us to add in the um, the studs that we'd added in on the inside over here because we had seen somebody else do it in a video um, and it worked great for him but it didn't work so well for us anyway so Zach is in the process of cutting out this piece here this is just a plastic piece but it's basically inhibiting our ability to go into this because yeah. it comes down about I don't know, a quarter inch. Whereas this this little pin is like literally a sixteenth. But this guy, what we're doing is removing this. That way we can have a flush finish with our wood. half inch pieces of plywood we cut them to 55 inches the only one that was different was the one way over there three quarter inch there we are marking for where our boards are gonna go where to screw because once you put them up you have no idea where all right so on Betty oh, that's Billy oh Billy so we started out putting it on the wood but Pop had a good idea. Don't waste your glue. Just put it on the part that you know is there. So we're about to run through all of these. Come here, you come here. Oh, that's our girl. That's our girl. As you saw in the time lapse, we have now put up the two by sixes again. We labeled, so we got Big Mike, Austin Powers, Og Dog, Yoda, Keith, Kathy, Mini Me, Dr. Evil, Betty, Billy. Good idea again. That's why we know we just grab our cut pieces, do our pilot holes, put our self tapping screws in, and that's where we're at. So we have three quarter inch plywood here cut into two and a half inch strips. We have one half inch plywood right here. The three quarter inch plywood is going to go up on these bars here on the driver's side. The reason why we're doing that is because there's a bracket down here. And when you put up half inch plywood on either side, there, like your straight edge will rock. It's not completely flush. So if you use the three quarter inch, it will basically jump over there and then your two uh, studs will be flush. On this side, we're gonna use half inch plywood because it doesn't really matter. There's nothing that rocks, I suppose, because we just have a door there instead of additional um, studs to put in. We're going to cut them to the appropriate size. We've already named them and measured them. They're written up on there and we'll get them in. Woohoo!
Got the kids, Teresa, Pops, Mom, all the nieces and nephews, Og Dog and Yoda, Big Mike. We're getting it in. We went and pre-measured all these. We thought they were all eight and a half, but it took a ton of finagling, but here we are. What we're gonna do, you see right here, so we're gonna put Craig jig holes to line this up. Shout out Ankeny Van Builds, because this is exactly what we're doing. As you see, we have two here, two here, two here, and again, all these fit. So it's gonna be completely flush all the way around. So Augie has decided to claim the rest of the thin slate. So Pop came up with the fun idea of our shopping list. Hey, so that's the way we did it back in the day. We are going to get two by twos, uh, some plywood, screws, an official Craig jig. It's gonna make the shop a lot easier. There's Zach. We got some three quarter inch uh, oak plywood. We got some eight foot two by twos. Craig jig screws. Gonna do a little work today on Zach and Fowles. They haven't named it yet, but we'll yeah. just call it the white van for now. If we have not said before, this is a learning process. Hadn't even used tools previous to this, so, but so far, she's a beaut. What we have came to for our shiplap walls is we're only going to be using the back two panels. Over there we took out the middle beam for a window. Over here we still have the middle beam. But basically what we have is a one and a quarter strip of half inch plywood and we're going to run them on the sides of these beams. Even though they're not completely straight, they're going to kind of angle in on them. Wood glue and screw these into the beam. That way we can maximize the space. And if you look down, we're still taking advantage of an inch, which is going to give us an additional two inches per side which is basically the point of the ProMaster. And you'll see in a coming video, we're gonna make an I-beam off of these beams right here. So that way, whenever we drill in our shiplap, it'll be flush, let go, and we'll be stuck. Yes, so we have something to drill the shiplap with. Basically, we only have two of these metal frame pieces, but we don't really have a lot over here, and we need a little bit more support over here. So hopefully those two by two I-beams will offer more support for that ship lab so it doesn't yep. move all over. And it'll give us more base to grab screws so we don't have a screw every two feet or we have one every foot. So this is rough, but hopefully you will see what we mean as we progress. This it looks is good. just for so that we know what that two inch width looks like, which is lush. All right, so we got our cut and because the angles are not exactly even whenever they're on the beams. You see over there, or over here. Pop's got this fancy tool that gives you the angle. That way we can cut it into the wood. You get the chop saw. Cheers for a Taco Tuesday. Cheers for Taco Tuesday. Cheers. Yeah. All right. This model's not great. Spend the extra $50. Let's do it. We have a new Craig jig, the Big Daddy Craig jig. We've been working with the, the smaller guy. Yeah. This is the, the $90 guy. Definitely worth the investment. The little guy works. It's just like not of great quality. It's a big box. Augie's excited. Yeah. All right. So this is All the right. what? All right, there it is. The Jig K4, baby. Yeah, look at this thing. Look at it. 